morning it's like 9 a.m right now and i've been waking up way too late but today i have a few things that i have to do one of my friends caitlin is in tokyo from home if you follow my tiktok you know that but we're going to the tsukiji fish market today which is not really just a fish market it has like a bunch of different foods like street foods it's really fun um i don't know why i'm saying it's really fun i've literally never fucking been there i see a lot of videos about it and a lot of people go there so we're gonna go i also have to go to the vet today because my cat has a uti and i have to change his food and they're like giving me like urinary care food i don't really know exactly what's going on but i know i'm going to get food from the vet i had to take him to the vet because he started peeing everywhere in my house and i was like this something's wrong something's like not something's not right so i took him to the vet the vet told me to go home and get a pee sample from him and i was like how am i gonna get a pee sample i was so confused and then they gave me like a syringe and a little vial to put his pee in i don't want to get into like details about it it's really weird i did get the pee sample thankfully and i brought it to them and they tested it and they called me and they were like yeah he has crystals in his pee like whatever the fuck that means i don't know what that means but he needs different food that's what i know i have to go there later they have like weird hours luckily this vet is like in my neighborhood though the last one i took him to was so far away i had to like take him on the train and stuff which is like so weird i feel so weird taking my cat on the train because i never see any other pets on the train even though it's allowed yeah now i can walk to the vet which is amazing i am basically officially on break for like a little over a month i am so happy that this semester is over i got so stressed at the end of it trying to work and do school at the same time it was just so much i have like one exam next week but i don't have class anymore which is like oh i'm so happy y'all y'all know i do not like school i'm also getting ready for this trip i'm gonna go on in like a week i'm filming a video and i'm kind of excited about it but also i'm nervous because i'm just like i'm not gonna say the location yet but i'm literally just going with no plan like i just have no plan i'm going by myself <laughs> I literally feel crazy. Like I will, I'm just like filling the void with something to do. Lately, I have lost so much passion in life, which makes me so insecure. I just don't enjoy doing anything. I literally don't enjoy doing anything right now. I don't enjoy playing games like I used to. I can't watch a movie anymore. I can't watch TV. I can't crochet. I was doing crochet for a while and I really, really liked it. I just can't do it anymore. I can't, I literally don't have the attention span for like anything and I just don't get enjoyment of anything anymore and like i feel like the only thing i can do now is just work that's it which is kind of taxing it's okay i'm working on that i've also been spending so much money lately like i need to chill i need to chill i bought like a 200 dollars dryer i bought clothes at uniqlo the other day i spend so much money on food i spend so much money on the train like it's just non-stop i really need to chill yeah i'm going on a trip in like a week actually what is wrong with me i can't sit still like i literally cannot sit still and not spend money i have to like constantly have something to look forward to and something to do in order order to like function as a human if i don't have something to look forward to i book trips like that's what i have to do in order to like be sane if y'all want to diagnose me in the comments go for it <laughs> something that's so annoying oh my god this grinds my gears if i don't take summer classes at my school i have to leave japan it's so it's actually so dumb it's so dumb because i go to an american school it's not like it's a japanese school with like japanese semesters it's american semesters typically in college you take spring and fall semester but i have to take spring summer and fall every year in order to keep my visa if i don't i literally have to leave the country and they kick me the fuck out which obviously i can't do i have an apartment here i have a cat here my my, basically my entire life is in Japan now. I'm not just gonna leave for two months and move back to bumfuck nowhere, Virginia. So I have to take summer classes, which gives me a month long break when normally I should have like a four month long break. Oh well, I literally don't remember what it feels like to have like a long break because I took summer semester last year too. So I have just been like a nonstop working machine for like a year now. Okay, anyway, let's get this day started. I have to do laundry. I need to like make my coffee, do my shit. I need to eat something else some point and then i'm gonna meet up with my friend and i don't think we're only gonna go to tsukiji fish market we're probably gonna do other stuff but you'll find out so let's go y'all 
look at all this change I have collected. It used to be way worse, but I've started like actually taking my change out with me to like spend. It is so easy to collect so much change in Japan because there's no coin in between a 10 and a 50 cents. Like there's no 25 or anything like that. So I don't know how the math works. It just makes you get like a lot more change that you don't know what to do with because I literally have like hundreds of tens and I'm not just going to take a hundred tens and go and spend them. So I just don't. This is so cute. I'm covering the name of Dote's vet, but look how, how cute this is. This is literally just the medicine bag they gave me at the vet. Like why is literally everything cute in Japan? They really didn't need to do this, but it's cute. And it says Kurosu, which is my last name in Japanese and Dote. Chung, dote chung. I bought these curtains at Ikea and I made a TikTok about it and somebody was like, just cut them because they were way too long. So that's what I did. And I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think. You can tell at the bottom that I cut them. I did a pretty good job if I do say so myself, but the white ones literally touched to the ground and it was like really getting on my nerves and I wanted change. So I just did it. And I don't feel like putting the white ones back on. It's the green ones for now. I have to get a new couch. My cat peed on my couch the other day and and in Japan, it is incredibly hard to get rid of items, literally any item, especially large furniture. I literally had to apply online for them to come. And the earliest time they could come was in two weeks. So I have to sit with a cat stained couch for two weeks in my apartment. A lot of you guys commented being like, why don't you just clean it? And it's like, I don't have anything to clean it. I can't just like suck the piss out of my, out of my couch. I don't have a machine or anything like that. I have to just get rid of it and buy a new one, which sucks. But you have to buy like all these stickers from the convenience store. And I think I have to get like eight of them and stick them on both. Cause I have like the Ottoman and this thing. That's just wonderful. I literally can't catch a fucking break. And I don't want to buy a new couch until like his UTI is cleared up because what if he just pees on the new one? I'm over it. Okay, I'm getting ready to go out now to finally leave my cave. This is my outfit. I can't fucking show you guys shit because my apartment is so tiny. This is the best that I can do. It's these little green pants. They literally have like holes in the bottom for me stepping all over them because they're too big. And then this is a Splatoon shirt that I got from the Nintendo store in Japan. I don't know if you can get it in America. I fucking love this shirt because you can wear it in the game. Like it's the beginner shirt. I don't know if y'all care about Splatoon. I love Splatoon, especially like the clothing in Splatoon. This is my outfit. I get kind of scared like showing skin in Japan. I do it anyway. Okay, now we're gonna actually leave. I'm actually gonna go to the convenience store first because I'm starving and I still have like an hour to kill until I have to leave. So I'm gonna go to Family Mart and I'm gonna bring you with me. I love Family Mart so much, especially for breakfast. Also today, the weather is like the best it's ever been. Actually, it's getting a little bit hot now, but look how cute and pretty everything is. When the sun is out, it genuinely just changes just like everything about me. I just feel so much happier. Y'all look at all these flowers. The second I have to like move out of my neighborhood, I'm like gonna be so sad. I think it'll be like the first time I ever actually cry. Slay. I think it'll be the first time I ever actually cry about moving because I love living here. We're here. Banana smoothie. They're so good. And I always just get like some sort of pastry. This one's really good, the banana one. Strawberry and whipped cream. Oh my God, they're pancakes. Banana smoothie and strawberry whipped cream pastry. I'm obsessed. Let's go check out. And that's my $2 breakfast. Okay, I just got home, but let's try this strawberry whipped cream pancake vibe. Also my smoothie. I fucking love these smoothies. I get one every day. I either get the green smoothie or the banana smoothie. They're so good. And it makes me feel healthy when I'm not. Mmm, multivitamin, strawberry. Oh my God, it smells so good. I've never seen this before. Mmm. Oh, it has strawberry cream in it too. Yum. After I finish eating, I'm gonna leave to go to the market. Let's finally go. See your chin. It's horseradish on top. It's actually pretty good. Like melt in your mouth. Wait, do you actually eat that part? No. I was gonna I don't think say. That's safe. I don't know how you could yeah. possibly eat that. Caitlin got squid. Oh. I can't eat squid because one fun fact about me, I literally do not eat seafood and I live in Japan. We're going to Ikebukuro now because Caitlin wants to go to the giant animate store. It's like the biggest anime store in the world. So we're going. We at animate. Look how giant this store is, y'all. Hey girl. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
this place is actually insane, y'all. And this is only one floor. They have like seven. And it's all just anime goods. We just left anime. I didn't buy anything because I didn't want anything. But Caitlin got a bag. Slay. We going to book off. It's like a secondhand thrift store that has like a bunch of anime and manga stuff and games and stuff. I'm buying a PS Vita finally and I feel really guilty about it, but I'm doing it anyway. That was fun. I don't eat seafood and Caitlin just informed me that Caesar dressing is made out of anchovies. And I love Caesar dressing, so I'm like traumatized now. I hate the thought of anchovies. It's like one of my number one hated foods and I've been eating it without knowing. Oh my God. Yeah, I'll back right now. It's literally so weird because it feels like America. This is what it looks like. I devoured my Caesar salad. I hate the thought of anchovies. It's like one of my number one hated foods. Now I have to rush home to go get my cat's food from the vet. I just left Caitlin and I'm sad because she's going back to Virginia tomorrow. And I said bye to her. It was a very brief bye because we're on the train. Now I'm like in a major rush to go get my cat's cat food. And I'm really tired. This whole week I've just been doing so much. I just left the vet. I literally had to run to the vet. They were about to close. But they gave me the food for free. So like don't mind if i do but now i'm gonna go back home i want to take a shower so bad